in about one minute or maybe 30 seconds because we want to be on time today. You are hearing the sound of the voice of Patrice James. My name is Patrice James and I'm from Trinidad and Tobago. Um, somebody just confirmed that you can hear me loud and clear. Yes, yes. 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 thank you very much. I think that's Peter John. So yes, welcome yes. to everyone who is um, on this call right now, uh, whichever continent you're, you're joining us from. I know that we are a global family today. And I just really want to start off this call positively, just, you know, bring really positive energy and positive vibes um, on this call today. We have a great lineup. And yeah, just so you know more about me, I'm the mother of three girls, the wife of one. Oh, let me show my video. I thought my video was on. I just... I just am in Vietnam right now. As you know, we are here for Simon's, Simon and Tiffany's events that just went a couple of days ago. And uh, I just came from the trunk straight into Ho Chi Minh City. And I'm waiting for them to come and fix the AC in my room. So <laughs> just being real with you all this morning, I'm really warm, but I want this, I want this webinar to be very powerful. I know it's gonna be powerful. So turn the heat up, that's all right. So my name is Patrice James, and I am a Blue Diamond in the One Life Network alongside my husband, Mr. Quarrel King James James, and we are GLG members, Inner Circle members, and franchise holders for the Caribbean. So hello to all my Caribbean family out there, those of you from Trinidad and Tobago, special hello to you all. Today you're going to hear from some very powerful women. We have my co-host who I met over the last few days for the first time and love very much, Miss Sherry Fock. And Sherry is going to be at the technical side of things, really helping me out today. Sherry Fock is uh, from Singapore and she's been operating in, she's Chinese national operating in Singapore. Bear with me, I'm now learning and loving these ladies. And she's an OLN member since 2016. So she is going to be helping with whatever technical, um, you know, help we need today. Uh, in our lineup, first, I want to bring immediately for you to hear from our, our powerhouse this morning. Just one second. One, one second. I... Oh yes, get your get your screen prepared. I'm having a little technical difficulty here, but nothing that we can't manage. Yes, right. So first, you're gonna hear from Sina Hunt. So Sina, you can get your slide prepared. In the meantime, and Sina Hunt is a Blue Diamond GLG member, in a Circle member, franchisee for New Zealand and East Australia, and. We want to welcome Sina. Sina, you can get your mic open and ready. We want to welcome Sina. She's a very good friend of mine. I was pleased to spend some time with her also over the last few days. And we really sat as women and had some heart to heart, you know, really share our thoughts. And of course, I am a lot of years younger than her. So I also learn a lot from Sina. So without further ado, I'd like to bring Sina to the front. Her topic today is Believe, Trust, love and unity. Sina Hunt, are you there with me? Yes. Um, hello. Hello. Hi, everybody. Uh, greetings where, uh, wherever you're turning in from. Um, can you hear me? Sina, can you unmute your mic? Can you, can you hear me? I can hear you. I can hear you. Okay, um, greetings and um, hello, everybody. Um, right, good morning, um, good afternoon, morning. good evening, wherever you're turning in from. Is Sina already talking? Can somebody help me? Um, not sure if you can hear me. Okay. Well, yes, um, yes, I can. Okay, awesome, awesome. Well, um, thank you very much, Patrice, for that wonderful, wonderful intro. Um, You're welcome, I can hear you now. Okay, can you... Uh, 
Uh, thank you so much for that wonderful intro. I know that uh, we have been um, in Vietnam um, and such a wonderful, wonderful um, uh, expo there and um, um, had some time, uh, had the privilege to spend some time with um, all the ladies, especially, um, you know, Patrice. Thank you for, you know, a heart to heart. Um, get together. So um, today um, I really want to share with you guys uh, something really, really important uh, that, um, you know, it guides me through from my uh, journey with One Life. So I'm trying to uh, start now and share my slides with you. If you could give me a sec. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm sorry about this. this is my first time on a webinar, uh, you know, sharing slides on a webinar. So I'm trying to uh, my best to cooperate. Never mind, Sina, all is well. <laughs> You'll get it good. So um, in Vietnam, um, you know, I, uh, I was very happy to, um, you know, uh, to attend that event. Um, you know, huge, uh, huge respect and thank you to uh, Mr. Simon Lee and um, his um, beautiful wife, um, Tiffany, for, um, you know, uh, this guy, uh, he has done so much for the network, you know, showing us a lot of, giving us a lot of, not only showing, but, you know, putting everything in action. And um, this is something that it's really, really very important to all of us um, uh, leaders and, um, you know, to share with our groups. And this is why, why I always try and make it to some of the events so I could learn not only myself, but, um, you know, whenever I go to these events, I learn something, I take it home as a, um, a good present to uh, my members. And to be honest with you guys, the Dalat event was fantastic, uh, great event, great atmosphere. I mean, everything was perfect. So um, I would love to um, say thank you to uh, Mr. Simon Lee and um, uh, his beautiful wife, um, Tiffany. But for now, um, okay, uh, she, uh, Patrice already, um, introduce this is uh, um, my name my name is Sina Hunt um, all the way from New Zealand um, I would love to talk to you guys about um, you know my topic today my, my topic is believe trust love and unity and um, believe trust love where there is believe and trust there is love and unity this is what I believe the four most uh, powerful ingredients that will guide you to success. This is uh, this four ingredients helps me, um, you know, um, guide that guides me from the beginning when I joined this company um, from the beginning um, and um, to where I am today. So believe, trust, love, and unity. So believe. I. And so um, I really want to share with you, uh, this word believe, it, it means a lot to me. I mean, it means a lot to everybody. Believe is something that um, not everybody could get. I, 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 I believe that. But first we need to believe in yourself because if you don't believe in yourself, I don't think, I don't think you, get, you can get to where you wanna go. Um, it's very important that you need to believe in yourself, believe in myself, in, in, in us. I, I, we, we really need to believe. That believe in yourself, it's a must, because if not, no. Uh, you, you cannot go to where you want to go if you don't believe in yourself. So what exactly does the word believe in you uh, means to you? Nothing more than mere hope or speculation. I believe I can be there for, you know, if you tell somebody uh, that you're going to be there, 
um, you know, at this certain time to others, you know, they will believe in you. If they believe in you, of course they will. Or if you believe that this person will never lie to you, of course, he never lies to me. So you believe in this person that this person will never lie to you. To be convinced of something, to give credence to, it's confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. Believe in the products. This is very important. So many of us who in this company that we don't believe in our product. We don't. A lot of people don't believe in our product. So many people are sitting and praying for this exchange to come, but they don't know what we're doing. They don't know, they don't even know what the product, what, what product they're carrying. The only reason why you keep um uh praying for that for, for the exchange to come because you don't you, you don't believe in the product. It's very important that we all believe in what we are carrying, believe in our product. Don't give up and always keep on believing in your product because why? If you don't know, how can you make others believe in it? How can you bring somebody in the business if you don't believe in your product? You have to believe in your product because if you don't, I don't know how you're carrying it. I, I don't know how you're doing it. But folks, it's a must to believe in your product first. Believe in the company. We must believe in our company. If you believe in your product, believe in the company, believe in your product. If you believe in yourself, then you can match success. I remember, I remember, it's just like a love story to me from yesterday when I first joined this company. When I first put in that belief in this company, it was very important. I made the biggest um decision in my life and then i started to study it what really is in this company that makes me believe and then i started to do things properly and run with it so you must believe in your product believe in the company there are so many negativities out there a lot of people are throwing stones at us why so-called some a lot of so-called leaders who left this company they brought us in because why they said they believe in this product and then what happened now what happened now there's different kinds of belief to me i adopted this baby from the beginning i knew that this was for me and I'm still here. I am still here doing the best I can, learning the best I can, believing in the best I can because I believe in the product and I believe in this company. Yeah, they ask me a lot of questions. What is this company? Is this company, uh, is, is it okay? Well, uh, I can tell you now, if you don't know about our company or whoever is listening if you don't know if you still haven't don't know about our company please start learning and um uh, search for it and i want you to understand exactly what we're doing our product and this company because if you believe in yourself in this company you believe in yourself believe in your product, believe in the company, then it's easy to march to wherever you want to go. Trust. What is trust to you? It's defined as the optimistic attitude displayed by a person pursuing a goal or taking the risk of relying on another person in order to attain, in order to attain that goal. There's, so, uh, there's a lot of meaning of trust. It's a social phenomenon. Trust is a process. Trust can be weak or strong. Trust is always a risk. Trust varies from person to a person. It is a process. When you first join this company from the beginning, you follow somebody who you have trust and you, who you have believed. 
And if you have the same upline or whoever that you have followed that who has left this company, well, let me tell you what, you have done the right choice. Because these people, they gave us, we honor their word, we trust their word, and then all of a sudden they dumped us and they left and do their own. And what now? They're still going. They're still not um, concreted with any, 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 anything at all. So we have trusted them. We gave them all the belief because we follow their word. This is the kind of trust that we have that I had from the beginning. It's confidence. When we build confidence with that person, you know, you believe them and then you follow them. And then all of a sudden somebody left, dumped you and left and then try to do, to do their own thing. And then all of a sudden they try to take you back in. What, what, what in the world is that? That is not right. Opposite of trust and suspicion. When you trust people, you have, you can, you have confidence in them, in their integrity in their abilities. When you distrust people, you are suspicious of them. Of course, when you don't, when you don't have trust about something, you, you, you have that suspicious thinking of them or their integrity, their gender, their capabilities or their track record. It's something that you have to earn. You know, that's why, you know, from the beginning, when you believed in this company, you trust, you, you listen to somebody, you follow that person, and all of a sudden, something happened. And that trust that you have built with your upline, whoever who have brought you in in this business, it takes years to build, seconds to break, and forever to repair. Now, it's a good lesson to us, because I know, I've been, I've been I came from that boat, and I know exactly how it feels. So, what is loved? Art, beautiful, beauty, faithful, caring, compassion is kind, is nature. Love children, love is children, love is a family. Love is patience, long suffering, trust, and all, the, all of the above. Above all, don't forget the man above, love is God. And this is very important in the five types of love historically, historically that um, I always look at these kinds of love uh, because it reminds me a lot of things. Um, Aero, Storge, Senior, Filia, Akabe. Senior, it's love that manifests its hospitality and through hospitality, senior strangers become grateful, friend in a world that not always friendly, Storge. Love found in family, the love of parents towards children and children towards parents. Arrows, affectionate, love that tends to be possessive and intimate. It is far more exclusive than just sexual love. Philia, it's about special friendship. Baby mates, team members, sisterhood, brotherhood, fellowship, or the like where people share intimacy and equality with trust and respect of each other. But this is the most important love that I wanna talk about. It's Akape. It's a non-possessive love and concern for the well-being of others. It's selfless love for humanity and the will of the self and devotion to neighbor. It's an attitude to be developed. Spontaneous, unmotivated, and indifferent to value, creative, unlimited, unconditioned, and uncalculating. Why am I talking about love? Because if I could speak all the languages of earth and angels, but didn't have that love for each other, I'm speaking about this network because it's happening in this network. If you could speak all the languages of, your, of earth and of angels, but didn't have that love for each other, it will only be a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. It's nothing. It, it, it is nothing. When you bang on it, it sounds like empty. So it's just words, but it doesn't have no meaning at all. Nothing inside. Why? It's very important. This love has to be, we have to catch that love back. Why? 
Because when you started with this project from the beginning, there is a reason why you started with this company. There's a reason why. While you know your why, I know my why. Everybody has a why. The reason why they join this project. And if you know your why, I know exactly what my why is. And if you do know your why, and it's binded with this love, well, you need to get that love back. Because if you don't have that love for this project anymore, it's finished. That's why there's a lot of uh, negativity on social media. I don't know why you're staying there. I don't, I don't know why you're still there. But if you don't have it, then if you don't believe, you don't trust, you don't love it, then why are you still there? Why? Why bother? It's finished. We should have, we should have that love for each other. That love, that first love that you have when you adopted this baby, this baby from the beginning, you made the biggest decision in your life to change this, uh, to join this project, to join this, this uh, company. It means that you believed in it. You trusted. You have confidence in it. You trusted yourself that this is the, you know, the opportunity that you were waiting for. So you started to search more about it. And when you, the more you study, the more you learn about it, the more you love this project. But somehow we're not doing that. Some of us, the reason why outside is, it's because it's from the inside. So please, it's time to change. We all have to bring that love, that first love. When you first started with this company, this project, we need to bring it back. Let's rebuild and make things. Let's fight together, united and fight together for this project. There is so much more to co that, that's coming. If you love yourself, love your neighbor as yourself. Yeah. You need to love your business partners, your team, leaders, staff, whatever it is. Because if anyone says, I love God, I hate his brother, that is a liar. That is a lie. You're lying. I've seen it in the network. It's happening in us, in, in our community. There's so many people who are fighting. Why? What for? Why are you fighting? This is the same project. It's the same project that we're building. Too much uh, politics. Why are we do? Well, why are we doing that? No time for that, my friends, my sisters, brothers, my family, one life brother uh, family. That we ain't no don't have no time for that. If you think that you're doing that, we need you need to stop. Make amendments with your, with your brother, with your brother, with your team members, with your leader, whatever is going on, stop. What for? Because if you say that you love God, you know, every morning we pray, God, please help us go through this day and whatever. Um, it's gonna, whatever challenges that's coming. And then you turn around and uh, still hate your brother. It means that's a lie. That's a lie. So please make amendments with whoever, whoever in this network, there's no time for that. We need to unite, to be united and be strong and work together and build this project. How law can be applied to leading? Love is not a word that is huge in, it, yes, of course. You can hardly hear this word in any um, workplace. Has been an, uh, viewed as a witness and softness not appropriate in the world of, of commerce. As a leader, not only I'm speaking, you, you know, with all our teams, we, we must lead. You need to learn what love is for yourself. Of course, we do need to learn. 
Well, love is for your team, and it is a must to lead with love. Your act love may be to refer them, or maybe demonstrate how powerful and healing love can be. Try it. Try it, because there's so much, there's so much. I hear a lot of teens who are, you know, they're fighting. It, 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 it's, it's not funny. It's, it's happening. And this has to stop. Forget about it. Let's clear that. You know, we have to move, um, get out of that. Cut the politics because it's no good. Unity. We really need to work together. Stand together. All of us, one life first, we need to. There is no way, this is the only way and the must way that we should be act, acting right now. If this is the project that you believed in from the, the, from the beginning, then we must do this together. Teamwork, unity is strength. When there is teamwork and collaboration, wonderful things can be achieved. There's no time for hateness here, no time for fighting, no time to tell who, uh, who, whoever, what, what, what is going on. Each one of us, we know exactly when we first joined this company, I know exactly what I'm doing. You know exactly what are you doing. Everybody should know what they're doing in this company and in this project. So there shouldn't be any hateness. There should be a strength, unity strength. We all should work together. Unity is strength. Now, how can we maintain this unity? This is very important. I ask myself too, how can we maintain this um, unity? We, sh we should all have that can-do attitude. Of course, we can do it. Everybody, 3.5 million people, we should have that can-do can do attitude so we could fight together, we could work together, collaborate together, put all our strength in one, be responsible together. We have that determination together. We do every decision Whatever decisions that comes from, from corporate, we support it. Everything that needs to be um, unite, that unites us, we need to support everything. Loyalty, understanding. We must have that understanding, respect. There's so many people who don't, you know, this is, it's so, you don't, we, we, you don't want to be treated the way you treat somebody, when somebody treated you like that. You don't want somebody to say whatever, you know, words to say to you. And then we, we must all respect each other. And we must have that trust to each other. Trust, very important. Teamwork. I'm sorry, I've just lost my slides. I'll, I'll come, I'm trying to. Um, loyalty, teamwork, communication, very important. We should have that, um, you know, uh, good communication, not only for your team, for your group, and um, whatever organization you're with. You need, we need to have good communication, cooperate, cooperation, thoughtfulness, passion. I know everybody has the same, you know, we all have that. And I, you know what? I thank 
some of the, the leaders in this um, company because they have so much passion. You know, that inspired me too. It, it, it inspires me, you know, looking at them, they do everything with, they have so much passion about this, this project. And I do the same. I should have that. I should have the same passion. Integrity, honestly, ethically, we should do things in the right way. Courageously, safety. You know, we, we should care about each other. Responsibility, empathy, professionalism, how we do our stuff. Help each other. Initiative, great creativity, excellence, hard work, commitment, diligence, perseverance, leadership, empower, encourage, and put it in action. Loyalty, yes, I can see somebody scribbling on my, my slide. Yes, loyalty, very important. Understanding, we need to respect each other. Trust, trust the, pro the product, trust the company. And most importantly, believe in yourself so you could trust whatever you're doing. Uh, I love this quote, so I wanted to, um, before I leave, I've learned that people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you make them feel. Well, before I leave the, you know, I finish, I signed off, you know, from this uh, uh, five, five, I was in Vietnam four days ago and I've seen so many, you know, I've learned so much from a lot of leaders, so much. And every event I go to, I've learned, you know, I, I said to myself, thank you, Father, for this opportunity. I always thank God for this opportunity. Why? Because without this opportunity, I didn't, I don't have the opportunity, I didn't have the chance to meet, you know, other, other leaders, other beautiful, beautiful people that I have learned a lot from, learned so much from a lot of people, from a lot of leaders. But how, you know, from going to these events. But while we're building that, we learned from each other. Not only you learn more about this company, you learn more about our product. Um, and you learn, you gained a lot of knowledge about what we're doing and, you know, um, share it with your groups. I really admired what King James is doing every week on Facebook, live on Facebook. You know, talking about a product, one academy. So whoever, you know, new people or whoever, and teams, uh, leaders, if you don't have time or you haven't had the time to uh, share this with your people, just refer them or share, you know, ask them to join or you just share the, you know, that um, uh, live video for them. Just help them. You know, we all help each other. It's, 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 it's very important. We have to fight for this project. Stand united. Because if, if we don't, who's, who, who's going to do it for us? Nobody. Okay. Thank you. Barbara. Thank you so much for my time. Uh, together for more. Thank you and God bless. Thanks so much, Sina. And that was Sina Hunt, you just heard from. She's a Blue Diamond GLG member, Inner Circle member, and Deal Shaker franchisee for New Zealand and East Australia. Sina, you are so right and on point. Believe in yourself, the product, and the company. Once you see that there are signs of negativity in your life, in your business, uh, it's, it shows that there's a lack of belief, a lack of trust, a lack of love. And I believe now, is the right time more than ever for us to unite together and to work towards this project becoming a success. We know that that's the direction. We are intentional about what we are doing. We believe in what we are doing. We love and we trust in the process. And that's why we are still here uh, as we celebrate five years this year. For me, it's three years. Uh, we really have to have that belief. We know unity is, of course, strength, as you heard Sina talk about. And when there's teamwork, great things can be accomplished. 
in the absence of, of, of that teamwork, we see things fall apart. And so if you have that lack of belief, you no longer trust and you no longer love what you do, then that's fine. You know, everyone has the decision to make, stand aside and let the others who still believe continue to do what we are doing straight towards success. So thank you very much once again. See now, we know we will have ups and downs, highs and lows. It is life, isn't it? So I uh, want to move on to our next speaker for today. And that is a friend of mine I met her for the first time, I think it was two years ago, or maybe just last year, in Dubai. When we went to um, Dubai, we spent some time talking together. Tina is someone who, um, sorry, it's Malika. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about her in just a minute. Um, Malika is someone who supports what we do in the Caribbean. She joins our One Academy call, and, um, and I grew to love her very much. She is the Inner Circle member. She's also an Inner Circle member, GLG member, and franchise holder for the country of Algeria. So without further ado, discussing the One Ecosystem is my friend from Algeria, Malika. Malika, can you mute your Hello. mic? And yeah. Hello. Do you hear me? Hi. Hello. You're coming in. You're breaking up a little. Hello. Okay, yes. Yes, I can hear you. Yeah. Yes, I can hear okay, you. Okay, good. Go right Hello. Hello. Hello, everybody. Thanks, Sina. Thanks, Sina. I just uh, noticed and discovered also that you were talking about a very dangerous hater, which is lack of uh, of trust and lack of love between members of uh, of one life. Thank you, Sina. Uh, thank you, Patrice. So today, uh, I I am here to tell you about something uh, about our empire. I call it empire. Yeah because it is something tremendous, a empire that we are building and that will make, I'm sure, a big boom in the world, whether in the financial field or in social one. It is true that we are facing a big opposition, uh, the, uh, uh, opposition that we can qualify as war. And in it, the dirtiest war also, because it is coming from some people who left, who earned millions and millions of dollars from our company, and now they are using this money to distract us. Anyway, it is not our topic today. We are not give, going to give them more importance that, uh, because they des don't deserve it at all. We, I want, all I want to talk is about our this wonderful empire and about that that is called that i call the one ecosystem we want to be strong any empire if we want want to be strong of course and flourish and prosper it needs what it needs a strong army it needs a strong army and strong soldiers because we can have logistics, uh, all means, but if the soldiers are weak and not uh, willing to fight, so there is no success. What is the what is what is the army of uh, of our company or our empire? It is of course one life. One life. This is the army or these are the soldiers of this, this empire. And of course, if we are unwilling to fight, it means what happened, we are, not, we are not going to succeed. And I am sure that no one from one life wants our project to fail. Of course, no, no one. Lot of members are contacting us, our, the leaders every day, asking about something, which is the exchange. And some of them are asking what we can do. So with a group of devoted leaders, we decided to tell you today what we can do or what 
can any member do to help to make the exchange successful? The exchange is coming, yes. But in our case, it is not, the, the goal is not the exchange. It is the success of the exchange. So uh, we have to agree about something. What is it? That any IMA must be aware of what is happening around company. Company is doing great, is doing its best, working hard day and night to make it happen. But all the bad, this bad campaign on this war against the project, all is done for what? It is to stop the success of this process and prevent company to go uh, public. Each IMA, IMA, sorry, must talk to his team spread awareness and help in sharing all what is sent through Facebook, Telegram, uh, company, YouTube channel, attend webinars. Uh, one coin term must be cleared on the net, must be clean, cleared and cleaned in the mind of all people around. And we are able to do that. We are able to do that. The belief, so we must, we must have, we must strengthen the belief in our product. And Sina, Sister Sina talked about that. We must strengthen it. I'm going to give you a proof that our product is the best. The proof is that all those dogs, I can call them dogs, haters who are against doing all this tremendous uh, work to demolish, it is in itself a proof that we are the best. We never find some people fighting a, uh, a, fail, uh, a failed product or a product which is not uh, successful. This is the proof. Take it as a proof. This is the proof that we have got the best product. So protect it. Our product is the best and is a real danger for them. That is why they are the, the problem is that these haters know, know very well that our product is successful. That is why they are doing what they are doing. So let's stay united. Any any country in any country, we have got people who have to gather and talk about and attend attend webinars. Uh, try to know what we have in our hand and protect it. This we must be the soldier, the strong soldiers to protect our product. Uh, second, the soldiers must have a powerful weapon yes to protect its empire here we have got a powerful weapon what is it in your opinion it is simply deal shaker the usability we have got a powerful weapon that we can use and that is going to help us to make our exchange very successful. Usability of the coin through deal shaker is the best thing that we have to do, uh, the, the most important thing that we must do. I personally have a lot of IMAs who were so negative. And of course, nowadays, they start selling and buying from deal shaker. They changed completely. And what are they doing now? They are very active. They are very active in recruiting merchants, in doing deals, in, uh, in encouraging others to, to go to, to enter to Deal Shaker and do that, th their work. And added to that, they turned also to the net and trying to tell people about their product, uh, about the product, which is our Deal Shaker. So, uh, Dear members, 
we are starting to make our coin usable. It means we must start to use it. Uh, uh, it means we must start to use it from the smallest things to the biggest one, not go directly and look for big cars, gold uh, properties. No, it doesn't work like this. We have to create deals that we need in our daily life, etc. And of course, from there, everything is. A, let's let's go back to the truck at the beginning. What was happening? They when they start using gold, they didn't start from expensive things. Now they started from the least and go on until now. Now the gold is the most important thing. This is what must be for our coin. Uh, in each country, what should, what should we do? We must have groups. We must create groups. Each group must be specialized in something. A group for training, a group for recruiting, a group for advertising. We, if we do that, what we are going to do, we are going to create more demand and we are going to make the exchange successful. So let's create this demand. Uh, at the end, what I have to do, what I have to tell you, there's something that uh, a, a leader of mine sent me and I like it a lot. He said, it is the last, he is Hisham, he, is the, he said, it is the last sprint before be success. Let's sprint hard for the first card and get the best card for better life. We are at the end of all our suffering. So we have got only one meta. Let's do it with all our force to make it successful. Thank you very much. And uh, thank, thank you to all leaders who taught me all what I, uh, what I know now, because before coming to One Life, I was not, I wasn't not, I was not that medica who knows so much today. Thank you for all who helped me and thank you One Life. Thank you, Pat. Thank you very much, Malika. Wow. Once again, Malika is our blue diamond from Algeria and in a circle member, GLG member. Her topic, as you heard it, is the One Ecosystem. We are the OLN, One Life Network, and the Army of the Empire, as um, Malika referred to our ecosystem as an empire. And the Army of that empire is the One Life Network. So we have to figure out what we can do to make the exchange successful. It's very important, the questions that you ask. You know, a lot of people are asking, and, and I know that for you, it is very important. It might be the most important thing. When is the exchange coming? But then we have some people on the other hand saying, you know, uh, what can I do? You go to the leaders and they say, what can I do? That's the right question to ensure that this project is successful, that we, you know, the exchange comes. And, you know, you, you can imagine for a minute, imagine a world where we have, because I just came from Nha Trang, an island in Vietnam, and we used a hotel, a five-star hotel, Regalia Gold, that accepted 50% coin, 50% fiat. Just imagine a world where everyone who's asking about the exchange comes and says that I have these companies. Everyone just says I have these companies that's willing to accept the coin. So they bring something to the table. I believe that that would help with our success. I want to go right into our next topic, our next speaker. We are going to make this call, not make this call too long. And she's one that's loved by many. I definitely love her. I've known her for the past three years. Only met her, I think, two years ago. And she's a servant leader, someone that really leads from the heart. She loves people. She humbles herself and figures out what you need. And I really have grown to love her over the past two years. Her name is none other than our crown diamond, Tiffany, franchise holder in Vietnam. And, you know, Tiffany don't need any special introduction. When you just hear Tiffany speak, you know the power that she comes with. And I really want you to hear from her about the e-era 
fifth anniversary event that happened over this weekend, go on here, 26th to 29th September, that I had the opportunity to be a part of. Tiffany, are you there with us? You can unmute your mic. Uh, thank you, Patrick. Um, good evening from Vietnam. So, uh, yes, yes. Um, so, uh, first of all, I would like to uh, thank you all uh, for participating uh, in the ERA uh, fifth anniversary uh, in Da Lạt, Vietnam. Um, so, because I only have 15 minutes, so I try to do it quick uh, as possible. So, the location um, is, uh, you know, where we have the event. It's in Da Lạt. It's uh, in the highland um, of uh, of uh, Vietnam. So um, the, the the weather uh, year round is uh, somewhere between 18. Uh, to uh, 26 degree, so it's a, it's a very beautiful um, um, weather, and um, it's a, like a, a, a what would you call like a, a little Paris uh, in Vietnam. So you you can imagine like uh, the architect and things like that is somehow um, uh, get it from uh, European uh, French. Um, so the agenda that we have um, that um, uh, for the first day. The people get in, uh, check in the hotel. The next day would be uh, the city tour, and then um, on the on the on, on that night uh, we have like a small group of uh, speakers um, who get together and planning for the next um, few days. And the following day uh, we have mastermind, uh, followed by the gala um, dinner, and then uh, the next day would be uh, expo, and then after that we have the networking uh, dinner. Um, and then, you know, the, the next day that was following by um, a tour to um, one of the Nha Trang Beach um, that uh, optional for everyone who want to join. So uh, for the agenda, um, I think that uh, what we make it different uh, from other events um, uh, before is that uh, we decided not to have like a massive uh, welcome dinner because we figured out that on the first day, People try to settle in, and uh, they don't know much about other people. So uh, we will rather um, 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 get together in small group of the speakers to plan ahead for the for the, the next few days, and then we replace the welcome dinner by the networking dinner after all the events, so that we uh, love to listen to all the feedbacks um, from our participants. So for us, it's very effective and useful. Uh, that we want, we, we learn from the feedback and also uh, we hope that other leaders also learn from that um, um, so they can prepare well for their next uh, coming events. Um, and um, also that, uh, that, uh, that um, 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 for the mastermind, um, what we did make a difference is that uh, we bring new faces new voice uh, to share new things. Um, so so uh, the, that's, that's, that's make, um, you know, our audience also looking forward uh, to learn the new things uh, from, from our um, mastermind. And for the three days, we actually touch almost everything in the ecosystem, all the part of deal shaker to uh, exchange, uh, trading, um, uh, one life, um, um, one world foundation, et cetera. So of course, some of the topic is that uh, some of the to topic we really focus on it. Some we did like to touch it uh, uh, lightly, but we we cover almost everything on the ecosystem. Um, for the attendees, uh, we feel very uh, fortunate that we have thirty five plus countries uh, participate in the event. Um, and for the mastermind, we had um, about uh, 650 people uh, joining. For the gala dinner, it's about 550. Expo, we have 1,500. Um, for the deal shaker expo uh, booth, number of booth, we have 100. But uh, in terms of number of merchants, we have roughly around 150 merchants. Why? Why is the number of booths only 100, but number of merchants is 150? Because, um, because of the, you know, like uh, we, we also collect um, uh, the rental booth a fee. So some of the merchants actually join together into one booth. 
So for example, like one booth, we have like actually eight merchants uh, chip in the money together and rent one booth. So for that one, you know, they, they are free to do so. Uh, there's there's uh, no way that we can actually avoid that. Um, so the, till today, the, the revenue for the expo uh, that we have, we got a report, you know, not all, but, you know, um, the majority of them, that um, the sales was like 1.5 million US dollars, um, uh, partial in cash and partial in uh, coins. So for the things that we can improve, that, that from what I'm learning so far, that uh, you know, for the expo, um, from the first two hours that we open for everyone is uh, a bit crowded. So it's, uh, it's hard for people to actually you know, go through from uh, this hall to uh, another hall. Um, so if we can like, you know, open to a bigger space, uh, that would be good. Or maybe like uh, doing like outdoor, but uh, what we were afraid is that that's a rending. So, you know, it's hard for our merchants to actually get their product and, 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 um, and um, put it in the indoor. Um, so, and also we think that, uh, you know, uh, crowded is also better than empty hall, right? Um, also that when we, um, the second thing we learned is that um, when we try to name uh, our different ticket uh, price, we also use like the VIP ticket, uh, that's a, the, the, the most premium, and then the next one will be platinum, and then gold, and then silver. Um, so at the gala dinner, we also have the VIP table. What we mean VIP table is that our VIP leaders, who's like above the ranking, as our speakers, etc. So it's a uh, make the people mislead that they thought that the VIP table is for the VIP ticket. So you know. Uh, if we do it next time, we will name it differently so the people to avoid the people um, uh, misunderstood. Um, also, that uh, the third uh, lesson is that many last minute uh, booking. Um, so we have to split into like four different hotel resorts. Um, so if we have earlier booking, then probably that we will get all the room nearby, you know, next to each other. So to avoid all the commute time uh, between the resorts. Um, also, uh, the next one is that uh, in our guideline, uh, we sent out before the event, like two weeks before the event, uh, we also put in like, you know, what, uh, which airport that you need to fly in, uh, the time, um, uh, different uh, flight time from Ho Chi Minh City or Hanoi to uh, Da Lat, et cetera. We also put in like the temperature, uh, you know, the weather in the lab, but uh, not many people, no, not, not all people actually read our guideline. So it uh, turned out that, uh, you know, uh, a few teams that actually did not bring their jacket with them. So at night, it's a little bit cold. Um, so, you know, if the, the next time, maybe we just like, you know, mention it in addition to the guideline, we can just like put in the group chat to make sure that every, people can, you know, get it and, and they, they get themselves warm, you know. Um, also that uh, there's one group that they bring um, a, a very important people, a person who actually working as a high ranking officer uh, at the government side, but they did not know, know, notify us in advance. So next time, you know, um, I hope that, you know, uh, if there is like a very high uh, ranking officer or important person, let the, the organize, organizer know in advance so that they will provide a special treatment uh, to that person to feel like, you know, very warm welcome. Uh, that will help uh, our, our, us as an um, organizer. Um, so that, that is all that uh, we have learned so far from our um, uh, event. Um, and we do look forward uh, for all the feedback uh, that share with us so we can put all you know together in the one report uh, we send it out so all of us can learn from each other and you know we'll be better uh, for our next coming event um, as an organizer any uh, any uh, questions so far or anything that I can uh, have to address no, you're doing very fine. If you want to share anything else, I know for me, the one of the things that stood out to me was the first day when we were able to join the ceremony for the bridge. 
um the the bridge ceremony the oh, crown yeah. yeah yes yeah. so, Maybe Thank you. Be, yeah, because because like uh, you know, this is a it's a um, a good time that everybody um, um, getting together. So that's why before we go into the lab, uh, that's one morning that we uh, get a, a, a group of people to travel to the the, the south uh, for the grand opening of one of the charity bridge. And uh, thank you so much for Fred and uh, you know his team, uh, Fred Sherry and his team to sponsor for that bridge. And uh, you know uh, they have a good time. Yes. Thank you so very much, Tiffany. And we love you. Um, we really love your hospitality. I realized that that's just mainly the culture in your country. So it was very, um, you know, we were very happy to have that love and to share that love with you all. Um, that turnover is incredible. I know we are definitely. Uh, add in value and as one of my friends from the Caribbean Maureen Brown says we are doing our good work and we will not come down and as you just spoke about that bridge project I want to go right into my topic as we get ready to close this webinar it's 10 a.m here in Vietnam we've been on for about an hour now and let me just share my screen so that we can talk a little bit about something very special I know if you saw the uh, program you would have seen a toy story and okay I'm talking and trying to get my uh, screen shared it's not really working one second yeah so how do I get this into slide mode I'm using PowerPoint online bear with me you know if you're not right good uh, someone just confirmed that you could see my screen as we get excited and talk about this toy story, what's really happening, what is this all about? It's the one project. Uh, Fred, can you see my screen? You can message me on Telegram, let me know. Just wanna make sure all is well. And this is the one project. I'm very, sorry, someone's saying something. Yes, we can see. Awesome, thank you, Tiffany. Yes, yeah, so this is the one project. Now, just a few, Days ago, actually, as we we met each other and we, you know, began to share that love um, and show that unity, this idea came up amongst some of us um, there. And uh, the one project, the actual one project, I'm discussing that that idea of that name to use that name because many of you might be aware of or should be aware of this. One second, my screen is not cooperating. My screen is going slower than I speak but we're gonna get to the end. If you're not in high spirits, just be in high spirits because it is what it is. Okay, I can use this button. Yes, you should be aware of this logo. It's the One World Foundation that was founded by Dr. Ruja Ignatova in 2014 when the company started. And the One World Foundation is actually a project that works with children globally. And you know, the, the, the actual, the actual thing is that you want to imagine a world where all children have a chance to fulfill their potential, um, they, where they can receive education and prepare for their future. So that's the, the main intention of the One World Foundation. So each country, as you might know, has a project that we would work on separate and apart. We don't work together on those projects. It's in each country. So if I can give you a quick story for us in the Caribbean, uh, we started in Trinidad and Tobago with our very first project last year. And we had the help of, of course, Constantine Ignatov to really push that through for us. Thank God for him and that. And we started with a uniform project. The uniform project was where we had 10 different families and we chose one child from each family to get a uh, uniform. Forms. So these are some of the ladies from the Caribbean. We have Suriname, we have Barbados, we have Jamaica um, um, represented here. And so we got, we as ladies got together and we said, you know what, we are mothers. Most of us here are mothers. We are custom taking care of our very own children. We would know what's best and how to really make this project work. So immediately we got the uniform project. I have permission from the parents of these children to show their photos um, although I wouldn't keep it on the screen too long. So after the uniform project, we went right into groceries because we said, you know what, 
we can't just dress them for school and not make sure that they have something to eat. So with the One World Foundation project, we fed every month and still are feeding every month these children so that they can have a good meal to go back to school. So you see, after Trinidad started, we had Suriname started their project, feeding the children, going to orphanages and making sure these children had everything that they need needed. And then Jamaica followed suit. They went into different communities and sought out the underprivileged children and started their project over on that side. Barbados, I know they took out the Super Ted book, which is the education for children. And they went to schools and taught that program to the children. So there are many different ways that you can have or do your project in your country. This is how we did it. And uh, I learned that uh, Japan is currently doing an earthquake relief. I know, of course, Vietnam has their bridge project and they will also do homes. And we realized when we start working with these children that they become like family to us. I have three girls, but now I have many more children because we get into these children's homes. We lay down on the ground if we have two with them. We learn to love them as just as our own. We visit them for the important um, times, like the Christmas time, make sure they have toys, make sure they have opportunities just like our children have. Sometimes these are the conditions, as you see on the screen right now, of their homes that we have to walk up these steps to get to them. But no matter what, we make sure that the, the goal is accomplished. So the one project, you're hearing about this one project. What are we doing? As we are accustomed working in our own countries, we know that's good, but we want to know what's better. What can we do as a family? What can we do if we say we are family? As a family, work on one project. We decided that we're gonna to work together. We already created a group of us, a Telegram group of ladies um, so far. It's just ladies in that group. From each country, we are gonna have a representative. And yes, you can continue doing your own project in your country, but we will all work on one project at a time in that, with that group. So the one project, the first thing we are going to do is the toy story. So we are going to get, and we already got those toys. I'll tell you about that just now. We already got the first set of toys. This on the screen here is Bahamas. We know Bahamas was affected by Hurricane Dorian recently and many people lost their homes. What we understand is that many children, would, uh, as a result, would have lost their toys. So we decided to start with toys so that we will send these toys to Bahamas. In Trinidad, we already started a relief program uh, headed by Cliff Sam Singh and Eric Alvarez. And we, they already had items of grocery and such and food and water go to the country of Bahamas. What we are going to do now as a global community Algeria, Japan, Vietnam, China, wherever you are in the world, we are coming together and send these toys to Bahamas. We already had all the toys donated and on the screen here, we would see the Chinese team. They did the first donation. I think we had like about four huge boxes of toys. I was really excited. We did the handover during the Deal Shaker Expo in Vietnam where they brought the toys immediately. Uh, the joy in the eyes of the children around, they were excited to see toys. And we noticed we wish children to have in the Bahamas. So thank you very much, team. Chat basically it. And so in the project, oh, of course, most important, please, as you heard about this project, connect with the who isn't responsible for the one world country. And they will, in a group, if they are not already communicating with me, are going to communicate with me. And I'm going to add them to the group if they're not already there and let them know how much, if it's coins, whatever it is, uh, toys you want to donate, just communicate with me. Because, of course, we have to organize the shipping of those items. All just But the point is that we can do a lot more if we work together as a team. We always use the slogan together for more. Now it's time for us to act together for more. So that's just our first project, many more projects to come. So get to the person in your country that's uh, responsible for the One World Foundation and let's get 
the ball rolling. And as I spoke about the Chinese proverb, persons or person who says that something is impossible should not interrupt the person who is doing it. And let's team uh, towards the success of this one project. You see my shirt that was gifted to me uh, over the weekend, the legend of the one. We are legendary, legendary one. Let's keep binding together as we end this call. I want to thank my co-host, Sherry Fuck. I want to thank her right now for support in the background, working hard in the back. And thank you, Sina Hunt, for really reminding us of our belief, trust, and love. Thank you to Malika, who shared the on the one ecosystem. We are an army, and we will continue to press forward. And of course, Tiffany reminding us of what happened over the weekend. So make sure you don't miss another event because it was something that we can't really explain. So thank you all for your time. Those of you who joined the call, we will be back on again next Wednesday. And this is me signing out. Love you all.